Good morning, church. It's good to be with you here today. And today I wanted to just take a moment to talk about um, 1 Samuel chapter 20. Uh, it was mentioned first last uh, yesterday in our reading, but Jonathan and David's relationship, uh, what that real kind of friendship looks like, a friendship in love to love somebody as we really love ourselves. And there's been some who have accused Jonathan and David of having an inappropriate or ungodly kind of relationship uh, that they see in their affection for one another, that they kiss in the field, um, that they've made a covenant with each other as, as signs of something beyond just a friendship. And I think that that kind of mentality points to a sickness in our culture today um, that is unable to see a deep bond between two men, and we could see it today between two believers. Um, it's given away in First Samuel 20, where it says, And Jonathan loved David as he loved himself. And we should have immediately clued in to when Jesus says, Love your neighbor as you love yourself, that that's the command. And in how these two men function with each other, Jonathan willing to risk his life, David trusting Jonathan with his life, talking to him about his his dad, about Saul and the complaint that he has. They both, for each other, are willing to lay down their lives. Uh, the sign of affection that they give, that kiss, doesn't Paul say, greet each other with a holy kiss? Um, you know, we see it maybe in that uh, pseudo kiss on the cheek they give in France or in other cultures. In some cultures in the Middle East, there's, they hold hands. The men hold hands walking down the street. There's a picture of um, President uh, Bush holding hands with one of the Middle East leaders because that was their culture, a sign of affection. And it is a great detriment to our society and our interactions with each other, when any sign of affection is taken as romantic or of something inappropriate, what a, a horrible situation that we have developed. And so church, I just want to encourage us that we would be able to understand what it means to have a deep affection for one another, to really understand what is it to have that bond of Christ, to be family, and to be able to demonstrate that we really do love one another uh, within the church and when we greet each other in the community, that there would be uh, something beyond the surface that is holding us together, something that can withstand the turbulent times that come in life, you know, if we are fair weather friends only as believers, if the church bond that we have together only lasts as long as we agree 100% on everything, that's really nothing at all. I, I was blessed, so blessed yesterday um, when one of my good friends uh, disclosed that we disagreed on a political issue, and yet he did not withdraw any of his love or any of his support from me or me from him, and we had that opportunity to experience um, a deeper level of, of relationship rather than ju just that, yeah, you know, we're, we're together because we have 100% agreement. Well, if you dig deep enough, we realize that's not true of anybody. That's my encouragement today, church. Pursue love, pursue loving one another. Um, pursue God above all. And let's have that kind of relationship that builds each other up. I love you, church, and I look forward to talking to you soon.